Tim Cato in The Athletic writing about the Mavs. You know, obviously, Luke is a great player and all that. And he says the expectation is totally transcendent performer. Right now, Tim calls him transcendent adjacent. And the main stat that he's looking at, in 2019, Luka was attempting 6.9 shots per game at the rim. Last year, it dipped to 4.8. They talked about it, and the Mavs said, well, you know, he's not in shape because of the super short offseason and this, that, and the other thing. We've been playing a lot since the pandemic. And, you know, this year, all right, we got a full offseason. It's at 4.3. It's come down another half shot per game, and he's actually playing more minutes. He's playing more minutes, getting less shots at the rim. So, you know, I'd, I, 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 it, it took Zeke the first half of his 20s to figure out how to be a pro. I think Luka's in a very similar situation. And it's not just being a, a pro to stay in shape and get strong enough. But it's a pro understanding what your team needs you to do. And it only works to play on the perimeter that much if you're also making them fear you making your way into the lane like a freight train and making sure they have to defend the rim. And if they don't have to defend the rim, then all your pick and pop stuff and your and your threes have a little bit less juice to them. So that's something to look to monitor. It's all very awkward because the Mavericks are three and one. And they look terrible. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're three and one. Yeah. I mean, last night it was 18 to one at one point. And 20 were, to five at one point, too. And it? there was, yeah, was yeah and then they went on like a 20 point swing in about nine minutes. Yeah. And that nine minutes coincided with part of it, Luca was sitting down, but really it was Dwight Powell sat down. Um, this team has to do what's best for this team. And there's Lucas stuff to it for sure. Yeah. Because. I, like, I don't think he's really in rhythm because there's no rhythm to be had with what their starting five is. I like it just it. it doesn't work. Uh, and so then he ends up jacking up terrible shots where Luka can't shoot threes this year. He makes one or two nice step backs a game, which I think people might see them be like, what are you talking about? He shoots great. He's making these incredible shots. He's shooting like 25% from three. Yeah, three for eight last night. He shoots like 56% from two. So every night it's kind of the same thing. He takes bad threes because they have no rhythm to their offense because Dwight Powell's in the way of everyone. And then eventually they get him and Brunson on the floor together and you actually have two playmakers. And what gets Luka in rhythm is when he drives, is when he finishes at the rim. Like last night he started driving and posting up and right after that he started hitting the tough floaters that he had been missing before mm -hmm. because the way he's getting in rhythm this year is at the bucket. Go to the bucket. It's hard when you're when they're playing two big men. When your Dwight Powell can't roll, like the other team's not not really respecting the roll and the lob over the top because Powell's just not the same player. So, you know, I I think you got a great point. It's it's not it's not necessarily that's all on Luca. I'd like to see him ramp up his uh, his resolve in insisting that he gets there. Well, there's a couple of things you need to focus then on if you want him to go to the basket and kind of get back in rhythm is number one is they're not going to call fouls, it seems, anymore on guys that drive. Mm. So that might hurt Luca, but it also might help him because he is terrible at shooting free throws right now. <laughs> Seriously, I, and I'm not making fun. Yeah, I mean, yeah. He had a chance to kind of put that game and make it like a two- or three-possession game, and he missed two free throws, I mean, back-to-back, -back, and it kept the Spurs in the game. You know, I mean, they've they've had so many problems. They had problems in the... Uh, they had problems in that the, the Raptors game, trying to close these damn games out. They they can't. They're not making free throws. They're just. I mean, it, it's something that you kind of. But especially with him, especially if they're going to give you the opportunity to shoot, you can't be zero for three in a game. Yeah. Or you know, if that's all you're going to get, dial you, in your shot, man. Yeah, You've been just, in the league for four years. You know, now. there's things. I, I there's things that he absolutely does not struggle with. Uh -huh. Ball handling, shooting, things like that. It looks like free throws are a totally messing him up right now that when he stands there and looks at that thing. Yeah, you know, he uh he he's he's a natural um but I think he needs to be a professional. And I think I think that you look at his body, it's so big. I mean, he could he could lose 20 pounds off of that. Maybe 25 pounds. He really could. He's just so husky. Well, like I said, they they need him when they when he does drive and get to the line like Jeff's talking about or drive and get, you know, the opportunity you know, if you could finish games, don't don't make this difficult on your team. You know, yeah. take the opportunities you get and 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 make good. Well, back to back years, he has been the MVP favorite, and uh, it's not coming to fruition at all. I, I think, 
you know the the idea that maybe just superstar adjacent that sucks you know and and hopefully it gets the attention of him just like it got the attention of of Zeke <laughs>